What's going on guys? It's Simo. I am super hyped for today's video because yesterday we got some spoilers coming out of Blazing Vortex, the core set after Phantom Rage, and we are getting a retrain of the level monsters. Now this is really cool. We're actually going to be starting Soul of the Duelist on the progression series in the next episode at the time of recording this video. So first of all, if you're not caught up, you definitely are going to want to be there. But the level monsters are, I think, are very nostalgic for a lot of us. And I think a lot of us really wanted this mechanic mechanic to work and some of these cards were actually very good back in the day but obviously they weren't able to keep up with the times and the mechanic did have its flaws but there were a couple that did manage to make their way to competitive play because Horus is an absolute beast but today we're going to be talking about the armed dragon retrain so before we get into it I want to go ahead and give you guys a brief overview of what the old armed dragon cards did just so you guys can see how these cards have had to evolve over the past you know 10-15 years so Arm Dragon Level 3 is our first one. During your standby phase, you can send this card to the graveyard. Special summon an Arm Dragon Level 5 from your hand or deck. So, pretty simple. If uh, back in the day you had like Mask Dragon, if that got killed, you could like summon Arm Dragon Level 3, I think. And then that during the standby phase, you could level it up into Arm Dragon Level 5. So, Arm Dragon Level 5 says you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, target a monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to that sent monster's attack, destroy that target. And during the end phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle this turn, you can can send this card to the graveyard special summon arm dragon level seven from your hand or deck so now we go on to seven and then seven can only be special summoned by the effect of arm dragon level five you can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to that sent monsters attack and then a little bit later on i believe this was from duelist pack chaz i think someone will correct me in the comments we got arm dragon level 10 so this was only able to be summoned by uh, tributing an arm dragon level seven and you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls and so that's basically where the arm dragon lore essentially ended so now we're going to go ahead and get into the retrains in blazing vortex so here we go we have starting off arm dragon thunder level 10 so it's a level 10 wind dragon effect monster 3000 attack 2000 defense if this card is special summoned by an arm dragon monster effect apply these effects depending on this card's attack one or more this card's aim is treated as arm dragon level 10. 10 or more possession of this card cannot switch 100 or more cannot be destroyed by battle a thousand or more once per turn during your opponent's turn quick effect you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard target another card on the field destroy it and if you do this card gains 1000 attack finally 10,000 or more once per turn you can destroy all other cards on the field so I don't think we've ever really seen a card like this that gets these different effects based off of its attack power. Again, if I'm wrong, someone can correct me down in the comments, but I think that is rather unique. So by default, you're basically going to have these four effects. And if you can get up to 10K, then you have this amazing, just absolute board wipe of a card uh, that's, uh, that's one-sided, by the way. It's not even destroying your own stuff. So I'm curious to see what other cards are going to help enable this card get to this ultimate effect right here. So let's Let's go ahead and see what else we've got. So Arm Dragon Thunder level seven is our next one. So it's got the same stats, Arm Dragon level seven. It's a level seven wind dragon effect monster, 2,800 attack, 1,000 defense. You can only use the second and third effects once per turn. This card's name is treated as Arm Dragon level seven while face up on the field or in the graveyard. You can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard. And if you do special summon one level 10 or lower Arm Dragon monster from your hand or deck. Interesting, it's level 10 or lower, so you can actually summon any of them apparently. So that's kind of neat. And if if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster effect you can add one arm dragon card from your deck to your hand so this is pretty cool so the third effect if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monsters effect um that's basically what this is you can add in so it replaces itself and get you another monster in addition to that wow okay so talk about easy um it, it really just kind of alleviates a lot of the uh downsides of the level up mechanic and uh wow i mean that's really really cool 
Let's go ahead and move on though. Here is Arm Dragon Thunder level five. All the same stats I imagine. So it's level five wind dragon effect, 2400 attack, 1700 defense. You can only use the second and third effects once per turn. It's treated as Arm Dragon level five while face up on the field or in the graveyard. You can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard. And if you do special summon one level seven or lower Arm Dragon monster from your hand or deck. And then if this card sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster's effect, you can add one level five or higher wind dragon monster from your deck to to your hand wow so this is absurd so what's so cool about this is not only are they like self-replacing but they're also then able to just pretty much go into one another so you don't have to like wait till the standby phase or any of this nonsense you can just basically straight level up into the highest one possible and to be honest if these cards are going to be like any bit viable by 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh standards I feel like they need to have effects like this but this is really really cool to see that this is how they're going about it so next up is Arm Dragon Thunder level three. It is a level three wind dragon effect monster, 1200 attack, 900 defense. You can only use each effect uh, or the second and third effect once per turn. It's always treated as Arm Dragon level three while face up or in the graveyard. You can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard, send this card from the field to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon a level five or lower Arm Dragon monster from your hand or deck. And if it's sent to the graveyard to activate a dragon monster's effect, you can draw one card. So it doesn't let you search for any of the other ones, but it allows you to draw a card, which is still pretty nice. Just being able to replace itself is crazy. Wow. 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 This is really, really neat. And it looks like we have another monster here too. Arm dragon level 10 white. Okay. So it's a level 10 light dragon effect monster. 3000 attack, 2000 defense, uh, cannot be normal summoned or spec must be special summoned by its own effect. You can use the first effect with this card's name only once per turn. You can banish arm dragon monsters from your field or graveyard whose total levels equal 10. Special summon this card from your hand. Then you can add one white veil from your deck to your hand. Oh my god, white veil. Talk about a throwback. Uh, you take no effect damage. Interesting. And thirdly, at the start of the damage step, if this card attacks, you can destroy one card on the field. So this is an interesting way to summon this considering that you have arm dragon three five and seven so if you banish a three and a seven or two fives or find some other combination i think those are the only ones that truly work though then you're able to just special summon this for free in addition to everything else really really interesting it's uh, also neat to see that white veil is getting thrown into the mix here let's go ahead and see uh, what else we got so now we have a quick play spell armed dragon flash uh so it says you can only activate one per turn special summon one level three armed dragon monster from your deck in defense position that's so great you can just immediately get into the armed dragon thunder level three or does it have to actually be oh no i think that works yeah so you can just immediately get into that you can also just go into the uh, old one which i don't even think you need to play the old ones anymore honestly but um yeah that would have been so cool back in the day because you could have just during the end phase flip this gotten arm dragon level three then during your standby phase go into level five but this is just a tutor to get you into three and just start climbing the chain and getting your way all the way up to level 10 let's see what else we got Next up is a normal spell, Armed Dragon Blitz. So you can only activate it once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters during the turn you activate this, except dragons. Yeah, because we need more dragon support. Target one Armed Dragon monster you control. Take one monster from your deck or graveyard with the same name as that face-up monster on the field and either add it to your hand or special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. But if you special summon it, it cannot attack directly. So this is kind of neat. It allows you to double up on some of your Armed Dragon cards here. Again, you can't attack directly, so you're not going to be going for, like, massive damage. But notice how it just says it cannot attack directly, and you're only locked into dragons specifically. So, that means you can still use it as fodder for any other dragon monster that may come, like, from the extra deck, perhaps. And that could just be a way to just easily just double the amount of fodder you have on the field to access some of those plays. I think there's definitely some ways to work around that, and a pretty interesting card. Next up, we have a continuous spell, Armed Dragon Lightning. So you can only use the first effect once per turn. If this, or excuse me, you can target one Armed Dragon monster you control, then activate one of these effects. Either it gains 100 attack times its level, uh, or add one Armed Dragon monster whose level is equal to or lower than the monsters from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, well, that's definitely the better effect of the two, that's for sure. Secondly, if an Armed Dragon monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. That's not bad at least it offers some protection for the armed dragon so that way you can kind of just hopefully get them to resolve and just rank up as fast as possible i should say level up that would be the more appropriate terminology here 
Looks like we're getting close to the end though. We have a normal trap armed dragon thunderbolt. So you can only use one effect among the first and second with this card's name per turn and only once that turn. So you can either target an armed dragon monster you control. It gains 1000 attack for each different card name among the armed dragon monsters in your graveyard whose levels are equal to or lower than its own. Also, it inflicts no battle damage to your opponent for the rest of the turn. That's a bit interesting. So the thing that stands out to me here, you can't inflict battle damage to your opponent, but this is a way to catapult the uh, Arm Dragon Thunder level 10 to have the 10,000 attack requirement to be able to then be able to nuke all cards on the opponent's field. I wish this wasn't a trap. That just means it requires a lot more setup and there's no way to really search these traps. So I think that's going to be one of the difficult parts here. The second effect reads, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target an arm dragon spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So that's cool. This even has utility in the graveyard to get you back, you know, either a way to just start your plays, a way to double up, or a way to either uh, protect, but also uh, search as well, because this card can add arm dragon monsters uh, to your hand. So looks like that's going to wrap it up. I think this is super cool that they are going in this direction and retraining the armed dragon monsters. I never thought we'd really go back here. It makes me excited to know if they're going to train more of these arm drag not the arm dragon monsters i'm sorry the level monsters specifically because like imagine if we got like horus revamped in this just to this degree oh my god like that would just be an ultimate death sentence for any spell focused deck um they could bring back some of the other older level cards like mystic swordsman dark mimic there's so many options they could go with if that's like what blazing vortex is looking to be as a set but i think starting with the arm dragons was pretty cool arm dragons are a little bit iconic especially if you're like an old school player maybe played on the playground with your friends i know these were like pretty noteworthy and it's actually kind of hard to find arm dragon level sevens that are in like good condition for that reason but this is pretty neat again is it going to be competitive i'm not too sure i don't think the archetype is really good enough i mean it's crazy when you see some of these cards and think like wow how are these cards not that good it's just i i feel like it definitely still has a lot of points of interaction where your opponent can easily disrupt the plays but Nonetheless, if you're an old school player or a collector and you really just love Arm Dragon or the level up cards, this is definitely going to be something you're going to want. I know I'm excited, that's for sure. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the new Arm Dragon Thunder retrain and what your thoughts are and hoping maybe we get some of these other level cards retrained as well. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh content. And if you found this video informative, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Just by showing your support in any way that you can, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.